All right, we're back in Super Auto Pets Weekly. I did just get, if you're watching this on YouTube, I just got back from vacation. We'll probably do some talking about vacation. Okay, you guys reading this? You're 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 reading a dog? Okay, I got it. I see dog. I see turtle. All right, let's play. Chun Li costume. I had, Daniel, I thank you for the raid, of course, first off. I have been asked several times, hey, NL, did you get the message that Dan sent you during the stream? I did. Dan and I texted a little bit. I mean, I, I don't want to leak the text, obviously. The first text he sent, though, let's be like ironic pants. I wear some ironic socks, not so much pants. The first text was, well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't even send it because maybe Dan wants it to be private. It wasn't, oh, and you know what? Let's run the casino here as well. Holy cow, I didn't even run the casino. Will NL qualify this round? Oh, we were playing Fall Guys. That's right. How many wins will we get this time? Zero to one. That's a, that's a tough bet right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By the way, there's a lot of arbitrage opportunities today because I bet I'll pay out the wrong group uh, at least once if I had to guess. I'm a little tired. Hmm, you know, why not? Uh, what were we talking about a second ago? I forgot. Oh, the, the Dan text. Yeah, Dan, he texted me. He said uh, there was a comment in chat that looked like it was from an alt account of yours. Because they were talking about... Okay, I'll just tell you. They, someone asked how was TwitchCon, and another person in chat replied, um, it was 3,000 guys looking at a one girl in a Chun-Li costume. And then he sent me that chat comment and said, is this your alt account? To which I said, Lamau. And then later I sent him a photo of Two-Hearted Ale. And I said, have you ever seen this lad made in Comstock, Michigan? And he said, that's what the normies around me drink. And then he said, how is Minnie Mouse? Or how was Minnie Mouse? And I said, I'm still here, dude. I'm in Ketchikan, Alaska, the salmon capital of the world. To which I got no reply, which is fine. I understand that. Not everybody's cruising, you know. They, they don't have all this time in the day to send texts, you know, nonstop. Call me crazy. I think I, I'm, okay, here's, what, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to go stork, stork me. We're going to freeze a kangaroo. We're going to sell a duckling to buff a kangaroo. We're going to run little ant, big ant, stork, so the stork gets buffed. And then we're going to throw this behind it. I would really like to give you some garlic or something. I think our ant's sticking around. It could probably take a croissant. Let's give you, or maybe our stork stick. I don't know. I'll give it to the ant for now. Nothing wrong with this for now. That's a strong bearded dragon. But it's, it's not that strong. It's not that strong. Why do you say croissant like that? Um, because they're, that's how it's pronounced. In Paris. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. You know what? Favorable trades. That's the name of the game. Favorable trades. You know what? Sure. Level three ant incoming. Are you in Paris? Are you in um, Hanoi? Then why the hell are you calling it pho? Are we going to do this again? We're going to do the, the faux pho thing again? I've been down this road many times. I'm, I'm, this is a home game for me. I'm well versed in the territory. Apparently, it's called pho everywhere, but it's only called a croissant in Paris. Nobody can tell me why, but everybody knows that that's the rule. Okay, sure. Take one of those. Nobody needs meats yet. Cucumber. Okay, you need some garlic. Your ass needs a cucumber, but we can kind of wait on that. I got to think. It's probably, I honestly, I think you can make a, a lateral move here. I think you can sell a duck. Buy a dodo just to have it, like just as a, as a perspective option here. Don't tell me I'm not pronouncing the, the tone right in pho. You think I don't know that? Obviously I'm not pronouncing it right. That should be a given. I can't even pronounce decal right. Apparently it's decal. Since when though? Okay, we'll try. By the way, we're freaking cruising, man. Holy cow, we're off to the races. Are you seeing this? 
We can't kill our ant because our ant is what is generating the scaling for us right now. But it's still, I mean, this is like an actual great run right now. I don't know why it's called, it's decal. I've always said decal, which doesn't mean that that's right. That's just the way I drew it up. But then apparently it's decal, which I, I did not know. Okay, there goes the flawless. Yeah, decal. Who cares? It, like, I don't have any of them. Because I don't drive like a, a... I mean, what car do I want to vilify here? I don't drive a Chevy Equinox. So I don't have any bumper stickers on the back that's like Calvin pissing on the Ford logo or something like that. It's not like I, I have like a subscription to decal monthly or whatever. Did I, can I tell you another great shirt I saw amidst all the college football sweatshirts and um, uh, Super Bowl champion hoodies from like literally the year 2009? Congratulations to the Arizona Cardinals for winning the 2008 AFC Championship. Um, it was probably the NFC. I'd like to apologize for the, the joke not landing right for the real NFL diehards out there. Um, either way, another great shirt I saw. Uh, May the forces be with you. And the, it was the Star Wars font, but camo color. I was like, this... That, and that was day one. So that dude packed that shirt and was like, day one, I'm busting out the nice shirt. May the forces be with you with the camo text. And I was like, you know what? Okay. I'm going to keep my mouth shut until I'm safe in my house. And then I'm going to poke a little bit of fun at that. The first stream that I run uh, <laughs> right away when I come back. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to say anything to your face, obviously. That's insanity. I don't really like the dragonfly with the caterpillar because the caterpillar, well, I mean, you know, never mind. I'd like to go back on what I just said. I, I think that actually this is going to be, this is going to be a hit. I love the Fitcher, but I'm, I'm kind of loving the stork game right now. I think I should have bought the last can as well. It's really hard to say no to a buffalo here. I'm just going to level with you. There'd be a seven... Eight buffalo. No, it'd be a eight seven buffalo. It might get a little ant buff. I think you gotta. But you're you're a seven two that also spawns something. It's it's the thinking man's game right now. Here's what I will say. Here's what I'm gonna say. I think you I think you get rid of you. Freeze me. Roll me. Now that I have two of them, I feel even stronger in this situation. I definitely like that. Now you look at placement. I'm going to hit you with something that you might be surprised to hear. Based on last week's weekly, I think the actual dream is buffing a dragonfly that buffs itself. I know it's unusual. It's not the sort of thing that the Jedi would tell you about or whatever they say in that show. That's all. I can live with this one. Then if you get multiple dragonflies, I mean, all I'm going to say is that they're cleaning their own mirror. Now, we'll probably, we'll keep this around, not sweating it. Probably definitely buy one of these. 17, you're at 20. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm loving life right now. I'm not sweating it in the slightest. You're going to be a butterfly next time. I'm still content with the team. It does suck that the caterpillar's getting buffed, but it's our only level two, so what can you do? Holy cow. That's a big yak. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. It's a large yak. I should have saved a turtle as well, I'm now realizing. Okay, so you're going to become uh, like roughly uh, 1312. Yes, that sounds right to me. I think that I accept this, and I accept this, and I want to... Well, I want a turtle, but I don't know where it's going to be placed. That's that's my issue right now. I don't know where that turtle's going. I don't think a lion's going to be part of the squad. Most overrated animal, 2022. I, a level 2 kangaroo, that's kind of what we're looking for. You know, I got a level with you. A gorilla might hit the spot, too. Now, I think the caterpillar is going to get buffed, which is not what I want. But I, I need a pill to get some yield. To get some yield from you, I'm going to try it like this. 
I'm okay with that. Front caterpillar? You could. I don't know. I like... It's just... It feels wrong to have an ant and not have it at the front, you know? Hold on. I'm pogging. Mmm, that's not the, quite the pog I'm looking for. The Jedi would not teach you this, by the way. Level 3 horse. Why am I scared of a horse when I have garlic? Good point. Nothing wrong with that. Caterpillar stealing some juice. You don't even have to worry. Okay, it's like if they had unlimited uh, sparkling water on tap and you ordered like a new glass before your old glass was done. You'd be like, just relax. We're on vacation. It's unlimited sparkling water. We're, we're overflowing with stats from the dragonfly in some ways. Very nice. Very nice. There's unlimited bacon, but no games on the cruise. They don't want you to have Wi-Fi on the cruise. Because then you might not, you know, go to the activities that they have on the cruise. Where they can also, and I say this cynically, even though I had a great time. Where, where they upsell you a little bit. If they give you Wi-Fi, you might not go to, like, you know, the Disney animation class where they teach you how to draw Pluto, and then at the end of it, they sell you, like, a Pluto plushie or something like that. Not scared. I'm not scared. Would you rather unlimited bacon or no games, or unlimited games but no bacon? Here's what I'll, I'll say to you, the same thing I said to my wife. I would... Love it if they just, you know how on an airplane sometimes they have those horrible touchscreen games, but you can play with other people on, a, on the flight? I would love if they added that to the app that they made you get to like maneuver around the ship and figure out where things go. Like if I could have just played chess against whoever was in room 8055, I would have loved that, man. I think we would have had a great time. I could have made a friend. It's a great idea. Yeah, but instead they were just trying to get me to go to these weird seminars that were like, we have the highest quality diamonds on board the cruise ship. I'd be like, really? With the highest quality diamonds? You want to buy good diamonds? You got to do it on a cruise ship? I'm not going to an hour-long class about buying a diamond pendant on the, the cruise ship. It's crazy. I refuse to believe that the, the best jewelry is on the is on a cruise ship. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, sorry. What was I talking about? I was going too far. I went too far. You gotta get killed. You gotta get buffed. I feel like chocolate on the dragonfly is like a given. We're looking for a pill. We did not receive a pill. I'll still keep the ant around. It's a 6-3 buff. It's a 17-8 itself. It's time is not done yet. It's time... Mm, it's, there's a lot... Mm, maybe, maybe, to be honest with you, I think at this point I'd probably say it's time is done. Let me kill you, and let me take a walrus. And then I'll get you scaling next time if we're lucky enough to live that long. I mean, the walrus is pretty good. That's a pretty good unit. I lived. Holy cow. You must be so embarrassed right now, but... Oh, man. Two dogs? Come on. Am I weekly? I, this is great scaling. I can't deny it. But you already get really good scaling. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I'm okay with the kangaroo getting the buff. Of course, you know, if I could draw it up myself, I might do it a little differently. But I'm, I, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for order. Look, I'm not saying... There, there's a one in four chance that we end up overriding this melon. Which, that would disappoint me, but I'm okay with that. I'm willing to give it a chance. I'm not worried about the edge case. Okay, well, they, I did not expect them to have a, a hedgehog. This is a strong team. This is, this is not a weak team. On the other hand, I'm not a weak team either. You need one of these. Now, I don't think it's going to be necessary, honestly. I could be persuaded. I'd really like to see some cha. Oh, even better. Even better. Now we're probably going to overwrite it. And you know what? I, I say that's okay. I say there's nothing wrong with that. If we overwrite it, we overwrite it. Though I think as we get into the, the teens here, though, we're scaling poorly. 
compared to some of the teams we're going to go up against. You knew that was a risk. That's that's one of the risks you, you take when you draw it up. I'm dead. Honestly, not bad, though. How, how does Monkey D. Poopy always come with the ultimate troll comments? By the way, that was eight, right? Put me on, put me on eight here. Like, normally it's like, is there a bald convention? And I kind of, like, I chuckled to myself. This time they said, do, they added me and said, do you like Ed Sheeran? You just know how to get, like, under my skin. But in most, I think you have been timed out a couple of times. But you know how to get under my skin, usually in a way where I, I have some level of respect. Do you? Obviously, he's, like, one of the best singer-songwriters of our generation. Or whatever. Yeah, they did get timed out uh, once for asking me to um, say a racial slur. <laughs> That's true. I forgot about that one. That one, not cool. Most of the time, though, they're just they're just having a laugh, probably. Oh! Okay, not not going to be the most popular decision. I want to keep these ducklings though. I've on on the cruise I became very duckling pilled. I will also say that um I think that Ed Sheeran has by far and I well, no, that's not true cuz Sia's um Rubber Ducky is is the most annoying song in Sesame Street's rotation right now. It is really horrible. But um Ed Sheeran has like the second most, he, he phoned it in. He has a song that is just like, you know, kids live in two different worlds. At home, they go, whoa, at school, they go, you know, um, but he's most of the other, like Billy Porter, when he sings Friends with the Penguin, there's choreography, there's costuming, there's transitions and stuff like that. The Ed Sheeran one is just like, at school, ooh, 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 we go. At home, oh, 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 we go. Like, he's not even, there's, there's no energy to it at all. I kind of feel bad for him. It's like he's doing it under duress or something like that. But I would like a large turtle, please. I would like to freeze your ass. Maybe freeze your ass for a second. Ooh, but, you know, the combination only gets you to plus four. I think I'd honestly... At the risk, I mean, here's the thing. When you're the one making decisions, sometimes it looks like your decision is stupid. I think this decision is not stupid. I think this decision is very smart. We could talk about maybe a dodo being involved here. Okay, I like that. It's only three squad, but there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with this team. Because it's three squad with some serious scaling. I said it's a three squad... With some serious... Oh, we were... Oh, we were one. That's okay. I'm not... I'm not scared. One of these? Okay, we got a woodpecker. Do I care? I missed the part where that's my problem, I think. You definitely need some... Some meats. You definitely... You know what? I would put, like, one of you up here just to... Just a freaking chill. And then I probably just... I would roll your ass, man. I, was, I would still put a dodo on this team. I'm still pro dodo. Now, you're going to get 2-2. Two, two. Actually makes more sense to set it up like this, in my humble opinion. My, my radar is telling me this team is kind of good. You just haven't seen it come to fruition yet. Um, but you're gonna... <laughs> Ant at the back, man. Holy cow. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How about one of these? I would say you start with the combine. It's round five. Whale eats a level three ant. I think I, I live for that shit right there. I would say roll me. You really want me to have a dodo, huh? I mean, in a, in a pinch. In a pinch, I could dodo you for a second. Why? It's so bad. Uh, excuse me, it generates a 6-4 buff followed by a 2-1 buff. It's incredible. It's insane. It's the, it's the highest efficiency yield you'll ever see in this business.
It's all garbage. You know what, for now, I like winning rounds. Take some meat so you trade more favorably. I gotta be honest, I don't really wanna give you a cucumber, but you, we gotta do something here. Can I get maybe a faint trigger that's not a peacock? Yes, okay, I'm just gonna, I mean, it's honestly not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna make my, my frilled dragon that much better. This all seems fine to me. Feels good to be honest, if I'm being real with you. I'm happy to be home, even though I also had a great time on vacation. It feels nice to have the fat pipe of data hooked up again, though. Let me tell you. To be able to... Like, I, I said this in... Um, in my Discord with, like, uh, other streamers. You, you've heard of them. They live in Canada. I said... Justin said to me, um, while you were gone, you missed everything. And I said, I didn't have data for five of seven days. Uh, you could tell me anything happened, and I would actually believe you. If you told me, like, the, the big one happened in the Pacific Northwest while I was gone, I would be like, I have no choice, but I'm a captive audience. I've got no choice but to believe you, because I was away. Hold on. Hold on. You're still pretty good. But what would you buff? You would buff yourself? You would buff you? You would buff you? This is early, man. This is early, and, and often, and... We probably don't even have to kill your ass because you're soaking up a beautiful buff. You're going to get to level two. We'll probably get rid of the frilled dragon soon. While you were gone, we all turned anti-vax. What the hell? It's like you were on the cruise with me. I don't know if any of the other people on the cruise were anti-vax. They just... talked in what I would describe as sort of an anti-vax fashion sometimes. And maybe also um, <laughs> dressed in an anti-vax fashion, which is to say having a shirt that said, I'm not going to take the vax. Okay, I mean, this is a gimme. Hmm. I gotta be honest with you, Whale. I think your ass is grass. I think you're gone. This is not a... We don't need a can in this. We're, we're going, but we don't need cans. Sorry, John Steinbeck. You're gonna have to find something else for your row. And then I think, honestly, because you're not going anywhere right now. You're getting one of these. And then we're going super buff on our dragonfly. It just makes sense. I would freeze both of these. No, next round is chocolate. I would freeze none of these. I'm not even concerned about you. You're getting 2-2. Two, two. So you're getting 4-4. Four, four. I don't know. That's a tough sell for me to get to put a bison in there instead. Okay, now we're talking. Reverse the dragonfly order. No, I don't think I will because... It's always going to buff the unit at the back. It's not like one of them has like a birthday party or something. They'll be like, this guy gets the buff. I don't know about that. You might be right. I may be crazy. I might just be the lunatic you're looking for. Big dragonfly can work, man. I did it last week. Dry land is not a myth. I've seen it. I got to be honest with you. There's a big part of me right now that looks at this and says, Seal? Sushi. I still, I want Big Dragonfly. Out of all these units, I, or Big Turtle maybe, but... Your ass is not dead. Mm, maybe you don't kill you. No, your ass is dead next. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Don't kill my unit. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. They, they got a little kangaroo buffalo here. Can, or kangaroo yak. Sorry. Does seem like it's a yak's world right now and we're just living in it. Mm, but we're pogging in it as well. I'm on a sushi diet. I shush if I eat it. Honestly, pretty good joke. Can I tell you, while we were in Ketchikan, Alaska, I saw some incredible um, tourist trap t-shirts. For example, there's one with a bear and he's eating the whole pizza. They got a lot of bears in Ketchikan, Alaska. Apparently they rip open the garbage cans and eat the food. Um, so the bear's eating the pizza and then it, it says, yeah, I'm into fitness. 
fitting this whole pizza in my mouth in Ketchikan, Alaska. And I was like, that's a good one. I've never heard that one <laughs> before. <laughs> I didn't know you could just take Reader's Digest jokes and then put in the city that you're in underneath it. And it could be like both a joke and also like, check it out. I'm flexing. I went to the salmon capital of the world. And that, like, there were a lot of bear themed t-shirts. There was like uh, a bear uh, eating, like he had like a shoe coming out of his mouth and it said, please send more tourists. The last ones were delicious in Ketchikan, Alaska. They got a real nifty sort of organization going on over there. It's just, I, I don't know if you've ever seen anything like it before. Why is this shit making me laugh? I was, dude, I was going on. I think Kate was sick of me by the time we got out of the stores. Because every, every piece of clothing was like a, a meme. Like every shirt was just like a pun on like moose or deer. You know, my deer got this shirt for me in Ketchikan, Alaska. And then it's like a deer that's a woman because it has lipstick on and shit like that, that. Shit like that. And I was like, this is incredible. Every single one of these jokes is like a, it's a 10 out of 10. It's nice, wholesome fun. You know what? I would. I'm not above it. I'm not above scaling. I would roll. I support it. I would probably, I would probably freeze and roll once more. Holy cow. Um, let's get a 3-8 out there for a second. Then I gotta, we want you to get the buff. You get nothing. I said good day, sir. You buff, no, you, yeah, you buff yourself. You be, okay, this is great. I love this. I'm seeing double four seals. It's like I'm in Ketchikan, Alaska. This seems terrible. The whole team has melons. Hold on, hold on. My team's got some melons as well. My team has some melons as well. Holy cow. I told you, dude. Big drag... I guess we shouldn't uh, count our chickens before they hatch. Big dragonfly can kind of work, though. Look at this. Ooh. It's real difficult to not just do that. I don't even know what to do with your ass. I'll probably just buy a mouse. And we might as well buff it. Just buy a, buy a mouse so that we'll sell it next round and then feed the seal. That sounds perfect to me. Did they have a conservative section at the tourist trap stores? Okay, I actually forgot about this until you asked me. I, I didn't see anything like that. Although I did see a shirt in one of the stores that was like an eagle, but it had Trump's hair. But then at the store where I bought beer and, again, was shocked to be carded as a 33-year-old uh, a man with gray ear hair, they had uh, two fake $1 bills, like, taped to the cash register, one of which had, uh, like, a 25-year-old photo of Hillary Clinton looking crazy. And one of them was like a 35-year-old photo of Bill Clinton with a reference to the Monica Lewinsky scandal on it. And I was like, all right. I would just like this Alaskan brewing uh, Kolsch, please. I'm not, look, I'm not from your country. I'm, I'm not, I'm just a small town Canadian. I'm not familiar with your big city ways in Ketchikan, Alaska, and how steeped everything appears to be in politics, even though I'm just trying to purchase Six beers at your cash register. In Ketchikan, Alaska. That, that joke will work for a bit. You know what? I'm, I'm a simple man. Feed the seal. Okay. I don't know. I kinda, there's a part of me that thinks a gorilla can work here. Hello. Hello. Let's go. Whoa. I see you see relief. Let's go. $110. $110 back from, from the government? Yeah. Yo. The government giving us money. Holy cow. What, uh, in Ketchikan, Alaska? By the way, Han Solo, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Oh, man. It's not a tax return. It's some kind of car. Uh, they, I mean, it's kind of like a bribe, I think. 
But they said, like, because people uh, drove less during the pandemic, they got into less car accidents, so they gave everybody a little refund. I hope they didn't give the refund to the people who still got in the damn car accidents, though. I didn't even think about that. Hi, Tomo. Honestly, I'm a simple man. I'm going to buy a gorilla just to have him. They did that to me as they increased my rates. Guy who doesn't know how they get you, that's how they get you. Sorry, guy who doesn't know how they get you voice, that's how they get you. What do you think of this weekly so far? What, we're at nine wins? Nine wins, one loss, I love it. It's the best weekly I've ever been a part of, I think. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Are you okay next time? Honestly, this, this is going to look weird. But I'm going to give you a damn green pepper. And then I'm also, just, just to scale you, I'm going to give you one of these, okay? I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to do it. It's a strong team. I lived, I lived thanks to the green pepper. You're not going to kill me. Holy cow. The gorilla, the gorilla goes insane. Hit the, hit the hawk. Hit the hawk. Oh my god, it's incredible. Looked weird, was weird, we won. Tomo, you're so like uh, attached right now. It's like we were away for a week. Okay, sorry, quick little 10 piece. And yes, in Ketchikan, Alaska. This, I'm vibing with this weekly so far. I kind of feel it. Now it's time to go hedgehogs. Duckling can go. All right, this is horrendous. <laughs> this is just really, really bad. That's okay. Hmm. How about um, a domesticated carrot? Yeah, we had a cat sitter. We actually have, like, the greatest cat sitter of all time. Not only did she come over, feed the cats, scoop the litter box every day for a, a, a week, she also vacuumed. I think she was, like, you know, the cats shed a lot, so we... Like, I vacuumed for you. I was like, you really did not have to do that, but thank you. That's incredible. Dude, can I also tell you, this? I don't think this makes me a bad person. I think it makes me easily content in life. You know what felt amazing? Is getting off the cruise ship and hearing all these families of 12 be like, Oh, and then once we get our bags, we got to get a taxi. Then we got to take a taxi to the airport. We fly out at 2.30, and then we connect in uh, George Bush International Airport in Houston, and then we have to catch another flight to Virginia. And I was like, man, we got out, got our bags, got in our car, and just drove home. I, I think I took a shower. Like, as soon as we walked in the door, I took a shower. I was probably out. These people were only, like, halfway to the airport, man. It was incredible. That's like their payback for any time there would be like six people in a room on the, on the ship. Someone would say OH and then it, like everybody else in the room would go IO. Like I didn't realize there was like an Ohio State like audio indicator. To <laughs> you could see it. Right? I didn't know any of this stuff, man. I, learned, I feel like I learned a lot about the United States of America. By being on a cruise that <laughs> went, started in Vancouver, but... Okay, honestly, I don't, I don't like this team right now too much. But I think in this situation, I would try this. I would create a little 2-3 ant. And then I would probably freeze you and just see how things look. And then I would unfreeze you because I, really, I don't really think you're that good of an animal. As an Ohioan, I love hearing that. As a Canadian, I'd like to congratulate the Buckeyes on winning uh, the 2005 um, BCS Fajita Bowl as I learned and was reminded of several times throughout my voyage. I forgot the name of the, of the big bowl. It's a Fiesta Bowl. It's the Rose Bowl? I don't remember. Rose Bowl's in like Pasadena. Ask me anything about California. I know it. Okay, you gotta go... I mean, I, you pivot hard. Sell a horse, combine these, you roll two koalas and you roll for a yak. And then you, you got all of your scaling dreams are taken care of. If you have to, you can do this. 
And I think I would do that. And and we got a whole game plan ahead of us. I will say, don't fall into the trap of thinking you need to uh, pill things in front of your ox anymore. Much rather have a croissant on an ox than a melon armor right off the bat when it's going to earn an organic melon armor anyway. This is this team is not good yet. Just get whoa 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 hey Tomo hey 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 okay. Favorite part of the cruise? Again, it might sound kind of boring. Um, to, it depends on where you're at in life, I think. But oh, you are not good anymore. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta find yeah yeah yeah. I gotta find a way out of this, okay? Something like that, maybe. And then you don't really need a croissant. You know what? Let's croissant on you and keep... No, let's croissant on you. Let's croissant on you. You can do it. Um, the actual answer... It's a little cerebral, so I apologize. But the actual answer is... Uh, not having to cook and clean a lot. That's like... I, I honestly felt like a lot of the people on the cruise like looked at us with a little pity and they were like oh like their baby cries sometimes like that's got to be annoying to deal with on vacation no nah, man like it's a baby like she cries that's what she does that's like her whole deal right now and talking a lot which is nice but like to have the crying but not also have the like one person has to look after the baby the other person has to do chores and then you swap like after two hours and 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 go again Hold on, I gotta, Tomo, I gotta get you out of this room. You're, you're, I'm very flattered, but, okay. Here, here, here. Go on, everybody, go, there you go. Hello. WTF? Dude, the stream's over in like 90 minutes. I'll pet the crap out of Tomo. Although I have to go outside to take the baby for a walk. It's a damn heat wave. It's 28 Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's gonna get a little hotter, but like it's nice. It's, oh man. Anyway, hold on. You're gone. I, I had things I was doing here. You're gone. You're in. We'll probably sell you, but we have to take a look first. So, you know what? I didn't even know Tropical Fish was part of this. I give Tropical Fish a chance. Probably give it one of these. Probably give it one of these real quick. You know what? While you're here, why don't you take one of these? I love Celsius, man. 28 Celsius is my room temperature. Honestly, that sounds unpleasant. I feel kind of bad for you. Please. No! You spawned a yak! The cause of and solution to life's problems? I'm on lethal? That doesn't seem right. How could I be on lethal already? This team is, is good. This team is good. Oh no, he's the part of the stream where he just rolls, okay. Okay, this is, you, you make a, a hard pivot here. You lose a little scaling, but you double the efficacy of your yak. That's effective. There's, there's value there. The heat wave here in Ireland was 24 Celsius. Look, I'm not gonna act, like I'm not an idiot, you know? I know that a temperature is like scientific, you know, it's based on energy. All I'm going to say is that I'm dead. Holy cow. Zero to one. <laughs> Pay it out. All I'm going to say is that uh, enjoy your 50x. And then I'm going to say 28C in BC, at least in, in like the coastal regions of BC, it hits a little harder than 28C in like Mesa, Arizona. Because your whole city is a mall, I think. I don't know that much about Mesa. Three of these dang ducklings. Here, we, 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 because it's pleasant most of the time, people build their whole lifestyle around like going outside from time to time. Maybe a circular lawnmower? We did also recently, last year, BC had the highest temperature that's ever been recorded in North America or Europe, by the way. Sorry, wait, not in North America. That's insane. The, the, it had the highest temperature ever recorded in Canada. 
and was also higher than any temperature ever recorded in Europe. But I'll also say after um, the last uh, heat wave in the UK last week, it might have uh, you, you might have passed us. I'm not sure. It's not a flex. It's actually a nightmare. Like a lot of people actually died in the in the heat wave last year. And I dedicate this run to all the sea life. They said there were billions of sea creatures that perished as well as a result of the heat. This run's dedicated to them specifically. Yeah, a town kind of got like vaporized. But it's definitely not um, hotter than any temperature in North America. I mean, there's like Death Valley and like... <laughs> Sure, it gets pretty hot in southern Mexico, Central America, and stuff like that. So I'm, I don't want to come out here and just tell a ridiculous lie. But, but it, I mean, it was hot. It, it only got up to like 39 or 38 in Vancouver. But it, I'm, So here's the, if you sell them all, you get 6 HP. I'm going to combine because I'm a greedy little boy. And I also want the extra level. So I'm going to sack 2 HP on this yak. Maybe we'll end up rolling a badger off the team. I don't know. It's a little weird. Uh, probably, and would I sell a duck to give everybody one more HP? No, I wouldn't. I'd, right now, I'd rather have the 2 1, okay, or the 2 3. Sorry. So, I'm going to sell you. We got a 3 9 yak. I like to see that. How about a little honey badger at the back? It's a little rare for me um, in some ways. Would I run a stork here? I probably would not run a, uh, or a hedgehog. I probably would not run a hedgehog here. I would say we'll, we'll put a stork out here and see how the mood strikes you. I forgot Honey Badger got like heavily nerfed, right? Like it only, at level one, it's only going to do three damage. I always respect a two squad. You, you know it's true. Honey Badger did a lot on that one. Okay, I like it. And you know what? I, tropical Fish, I don't think it's all that. But I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think you get a koala on this team. Probably pill you in a second. Probably croissant or yak, honestly. It's got so much HP, it needs the dang croissant. Now that you got some time on your hands, you're gonna watch the bear. You got it backwards. I do not have any any extra time on my hands. I'm not saying I got a whole lot to do immediately, but I'm back to normal life now. The time to watch the bear was on the cruise. Unfortunately, they didn't have any Wi-Fi. So as a result, I did not get to watch the bear. I apologize for that. It would have been a nice opportunity to do it, but it's the way the cookie crumbles from time to time. I'm also here to tell you, let, let me get a turtle on this yak. It is good, though. I, I believe that. I've also been told, well, and by told, I mean asked a lot. <laughs> if I've seen the rehearsal yet. No, they also did not get HBO Now or whatever it's called on the ship. I'm sorry. The, until Disney gets to HBO, and I'm sure it's on the list. They've got a few acquisitions to make first. But un, until the endlessly hungering ma of, of Disney uh, reaches for HBO, I was unable to watch that on the, uh, on the cruise. But one day, one day for sure, Honey Badger actually worked. It wouldn't be the worst thing. Oh, it would actually, it would be horrible. It would be the worst thing in the world to pill you. It would be an idiotic move. So let's buff you. You watch this old house with Bob Vila? I've seen some episodes um, for sure. Honestly, I think your ass is gone. I think we're doing some psycho team like this. I watched a lot of this old house as a child. Mostly because my parents had control of the remote. It's also why I watched a lot of uh, Debbie Travis's Painted House. I'm not sure if you've seen that classic. Pretty close. Combine? Bye. I do like a sniper. How are... Dude, how are we on lethal? This is actually, like, criminal.
Keep a Lynx instead. I don't know. It's just the new hotness. Give me the new hotness instead. Each tier. Two, two, three, three, two, three is a horrible team for a poodle. But you're gone. You could go. Maybe we'll freeze you for a sec. I mean, we got a damn snail on the team. That's not a that's not a good situation to have a snail on the squad. I you know what my problem is? It's actually going yak koala. I was doing great when I just prioritized good units and then focused on like a little bit of scaling. Now I'm going yak koala like some kind of doofus, like it's actually a thing. It's not a thing. You gotta go. You're becoming part of the team. You're a two, you're a four, you're a three, you're a two, get out of here. We're just gonna scale the yak better with this. Two, three, two. But it, the, the poodle scales, correct me if I'm wrong. The poodle scales randomly. It's not based on order. Is this correct? Randomly. Okay. I like that. I really don't like a lollipop. I, I see the merit. I don't like it, though. I don't like any of this. <laughs> Who's definitely getting a buff? Uh, the Lynx is definitely getting a buff. Okay, take some meat. I thought I was going to give you garlic. Your HP is so low, though. Well, I'll see you in hell. Ooh, no, I won't! No, I won't see you in hell. We don't need another four, but I would like another dragonfly. I don't know, man. I think my team's kind of ass. I think we're going to get three wins. We're on three wins already. I think that's as much as we're going to get. So what do you sell to fit a cow? Do you sell the only scaler you have? Or do you sell the thing that you spent six gold on last turn? Or do you sell your turtle that is the only thing that makes your yak like semi-useful? So or you, do you sell, I'm not selling the stork. Are you crazy? You got to sell the lynx. You got to go lynx. You got to get the yak pogging. And then you got to add five, two, two, three. We add like a five or a four. Or we just accept, you know what you do? You sell this piece of crap. And then you just get two poodles out there and you hope to outscale your problems. That's not something I love to do on lethal, but in this situation, you know, in a pinch, you got to do what you got to do. I'm slapping my troubles away. You were like so close to being owned. Don't even... I know you're probably like, oh, I'm so good. You were almost owned and honestly, you know it. Whatever, I'll take it. With Slap Chop. I saw a movie uh, called The Clapper. Starred Ed Helms. At the start, of, he's a, a man who is an actor who is paid to clap and ask questions at infomercials. Like the kind of guy who would stand up at an infomercial and be like, do you mean to tell me I can reduce the fat in my rotisserie chicken by cooking it on this thing? Um, anyway... In that movie, Vince from Slap Chop is in it as somebody that's uh, he's an infomercial salesperson. I gotta say, he looks the same but different. I don't know if you've seen a picture of Vince. If, you, if you've ever Googled Vince from Slap Chop 2022, <laughs> he's, uh, it, he looks the same. Like when I saw him, I was instantly like, that's Vince from Slap Chop. But I was also like, are you okay? Didn't he get arrested for something? Hey, it's not illegal to, be, to get arrested. I can't believe I took a yak. I thought he died. He was in a car crash. Didn't he bite a hooker's tongue off? Okay. We don't use the H word around here, but I do believe that that is what happened. <laughs> Wait, I, now that I think about it, I feel like I heard something about that. That sounds right to me. Did he bite a, a sex worker's tongue off? She bit his tongue off and then he hit her. Okay, all right. I knew there was some kind of tongue biting going on. 
I love that for me. I mean, at, at this stage of the game, I would probably... Honestly, I think I might shit out a level 3 store here. I don't, I don't even know what you do. Uh, cat, cat. Okay, fine. I'll take, like, the damn cat, all right? But I'm not going to take it this round. I'm going to buy some sushi first. Didn't even hit my uh, mammoth, so I'm stoked. Ah, sh well, no, we knew he was going to get a buff. That's okay. Mammoth is so ass. What are you talking about? I just traded one for one with their mammoth. One for one is ass now? I don't think so. Okay, huge win. You're gone. You're in. This is not the... I thought you were level two. I don't know how that happened. Level two. Really big two. Nobody really needs a melon. Like, this, you're a melon, basically. When you think about it. You know what? Lollipop yak, not a bad idea. Definitely true. I could see that working. On the other hand, having enough uh, attack to kill any unit through melon armor also kind of pogs. Do you like euros? Here we go. Let me guess. They make a great euro on the episode of the bear, episode five of the bear, where Andy thinks that Italian beef is going out of style, so he adds a euro to the menu. Here we go. Is it true? So you've watched it. I knew I I know the chatter. Okay, that chatter is a known entity. Every question they bait me into answering as if it's authentic, and then it's just about the bear, which I don't even get. Like how I guess I'm guilty of turning it into a thing because there's no. I mean, the show apparently is great, but there's no reason that it should be a meme at all. But it's a meme in my chat. So I, I guess I'm the fool. All right, this is horrendous news. Yeah, that is really bad. That did not help. I'll, I'll take my loss. I'll take my loss. Se Dude, seven is still pretty good, actually. We That's the worst run we've had on this weekly. Lollipop would have been nice, okay? But I was not focused. <laughs> I'm just, just going to own that.